Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and we are back on the workshop today, seeing what kind of crazy and ridiculous creations you guys have been up to making. And the first one we're looking at is this one, which is actually a snail with a mustache named Pierre. So this is by Megos Albjorn, and it's just Pierre the Snail. Look at Pierre, I wonder how fast Escar got. Comes with terrible jokes included. What a bonus. But look at this thing, it totally works, it totally drives, it's a perfectly viable car, like the three-wheeled car, it looks amazing, and I just love the fact that the monster truck wheel is not only a functional part of it, but also makes a great representation of a snail shell. And we got the eyes, and like the little antennas sticking out of the nose there, and mustache and everything, it's just, it's the whole package of just a creative design really. And it's minimalistic too, it's really really small and compact. So I thought that was a great way to start off this workshop episode, but uh, we got we got a lot of crazy stuff to look at today. So let's hop back in the workshop and let me show you what just what I'm talking about. Alright, up next we have something I know you've all been waiting to see. This is the Democles Experimental Rare Railgun Linear Missile Launcher. And this is by Mimetic Soup. Now, ever since the electromagnets came out, you guys have been asking for a rail gun, and I, I haven't really tested anything yet, but when I saw this on the workshop, I'm like, oh, let's see what has actually been tested out with rail guns, and are they actually effective? And then maybe I can try to make my own inspired by this design here. This seems like a pretty complex design though, so it looks like it even has a backboard to shoot against already, so this is gonna be interesting. Were there instructions? I didn't look at the instructions. <laughs> no, okay, there's no instructions. I'll figure it out. I'll press buttons and see what happens. Whoa, interesting. Oh, what? What is the purpose of that? Okay, I'm really not sure what that's supposed to do. So turning does this for some reason. I don't know why. Pressing W expands this up and I don't know why. And pressing S expands it or contracts it back down. And then the only other thing is space, which I'm assuming launches it. Oh boy, I don't really know how to, what to expect with this. Here we go, space. Um, Space, space. What? Okay, maybe I gotta hold space. Maybe, maybe I just gotta hold space. Let's try this again. Okay, all right, here we go, and space. That actually kind of worked, but the, the thruster does go. It is powered, it's automatically powered. I don't know how much of an effect that had, to be honest. This was like, it just went instant. All right, let's repair and try this again. All right, and space. Okay, it seems to have varying results. I'm trying to like watch it happen. The first one was amazing, but now it's just like, eh. Oh, there, oh, that was, I guess facing in this direction is optimal. Every time we face that direction, it does pretty good. Other directions, let's see if we, if it happens again. Other directions so far. Oh, that one was okay, but it was kind of glitchy at the start. Right, and yeah, that was terrible. All right, here we go. Is this the golden direction? Look at that. It goes straight through. Okay, where's Mr. Snail? I want to put Mr. Snail in front of this. Oh, oh no. Ah, ah, no. We're flying. Oh. That was not how Pierre's life was supposed to end. You're supposed to end by railgun. All right, now I'm gonna make sure this is facing in the supposed golden direction for our railgun. All right, we're gonna park Pierre right here, right in front of Mr. Railgun. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that's not gonna help, is it? All right, let me see if I can j What is that wheel doing? That, <laughs> okay. This episode is just full of unexpectedness. Okay, Pierre, congratulations. You are the first ever snail to uh, contribute to railgun research. You can collect your reward after the experiment is over. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, activate. <laughs> what is with the wheel though? That worked perfectly! It completely destroyed him and kept going right through him! There's more to be tested here. Hold on, hold on. What if I do a turning thing so that these are like straight? Alright, well that doesn't help. Alright, what if I do this? Does this change things? Oh, 
Oh, interesting. That makes it go kind of slower. All right, wait, 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 wait. I want to try something else here now. What if I make it so that this isn't powered at all? So I want to see if the magnets do anything on their own if the uh, if the thruster isn't being provided power. So here we go. Okay, well, that answers that question. It still works with just magnets. So I was worried that it was the thruster doing most of the work, but as you can see, the thruster was completely unpowered there. And um, okay, let's go with our magic direction. The golden direction here. Oh, well, that time... What? <laughs> Delayed annihilation. Okay, we're gonna move on. We spent too much time on this one. We have other creations to look at. Okay, up next, we have a container carrier. <laughs> he says, I wanna die, but it works. I guess this must have been difficult to implement. All right, so why, what, what made him want to die with this thing? All right, there we go. So we have some turning. We got rear wheel turn. Oh, this is really interesting. Oh, this is very, very, very slow. Okay, I'm at max speed now. A whole 20 kilometers an hour. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, let's see. Can we do this? Whoa. Whoa, I have a lot of acceleration, but I'm really... Wait, what? Yeah, I have a lot of acceleration, but I immediately top out on my speed. That's interesting. I guess we press K to activate, and then we can bring them up. Look at that, easy mode. If I purchase this from some type of industrial machines uh, website or something, I would leave a review saying works as advertised. It picks up the container, it transports the containers, and let's see, let's, we'll drop it down here. We'll go ahead and press the down arrow, and then we release, and then we back up, and look at that. Oop, oop. I, I think the acceler- I, my only criticism would be the acceleration's a little much. Maybe tone down the acceleration on these engines. But other than that, super easy to use, super simple, and super effective. You can't ask for much more. All right, on to the next creation. All right, up next, we're looking at the Flying Ring by Tim Dickinson. I don't know how good I'm gonna be able to control this thing, but press number one to start. Oh, interesting. Number two for gimbals. Shift to thrust. A oh, 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 okay. What? Wait, 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 well, I'm missing something. Space? Whoa. Whoa. I am so confused about how this thing even works. Hold on. Two. Oh, boy. I don't understand it. Okay. I'm going to turn the gimbals back on. This is what happens when I turn the gimbals on. For some reason. Number one. What? I don't understand this. It's cool to watch, but I don't understand how I'm supposed to control. Oh, is this not what I'm supposed to do? And then I turn. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, shift. All right. All right. Are we just going to float here now? I mean, I can go backward. Like now I can kind of go in whatever direction I want just by turning myself like this. That's interesting. Let's go over to the helipad. Let's see if I can actually land this thing. Whatever landing means for this. Yeah, okay, so I think this is how I'm supposed to actually fly it around. This seems to be working great. All right. And then I don't know how to... Oh, boy. I don't know how to, like, gently land. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling we were gonna crash a little bit there. So that's, uh, that's this one. It's an interesting concept. I, I don't think I fully understand the intent behind it, but I, I, I went based off of the description, so there's that. Okay. This seems like some type of alien technology I'm just not qualified for. So, actually, I want to be in the water anyway. Oh, I just destroyed it by hopping out. But it's fine, because like I was saying, I want to be in the water for this next one, because uh, here's a build that is unlike anything we've looked at before on the channel. And we are looking at the fish pack. These AI fish can swim different ways. Every fish has a different way of swimming. The yellow ones are similar, apparently. This is by Dilvator. All right, so if I just spawn it in, do these automatically detach? Or no, I guess I, I get... Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, fascinating. They just... Oh, no, they're getting... Oh, they've got... Oh, they've, they've crashed into each other. Come back. Oh, look at them. This is awesome. We're in a school of fish. Oh, that is so cool. Look how they go like intermittently like that. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at the. Oh, this is awesome. 
This is even better than I expected. This is so cool. Where's the red one? Oh, the red and the... Oh, they're they're all the way down in the bottom. I want to go underwater. Come on. Come on. Oh, the blue one. Is the blue one a, a dead fish? Is he just dead? Where'd the red one go? There was a red one somewhere. I love how they just... They turn and jump out of the water and the eyes... Oh, that's so great. It looks like this is the red... There it is. Look at that. And the red one's a speedy one. These are so well done. All right, I just find some more of these. I want to see the blue one. What does the blue one do? Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it looks like... Oh, what? What? He's coming back. What? What? Okay. These things are so fascinating. Oh, here he goes. Pew! So he's like a much more of a straight shooter than the yellow ones are. The yellow ones kind of just go around in circles. Yeah, that guy's awesome. I like blue. I like the blue guy, even though the first one isn't really doing so hot down there. All right, I gotta. All right, let's get like a nice aerial view because now we have. You know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna release a bunch of these into the ocean. This is what's gonna happen. Here we go. Spawn in. Oh no. Oh no. All that debris tells me I made a mistake. <laughs> Look at them all swimming under the water. Oh, this is great. Oh, no. There's floating pieces of dead ones. Oh, look at the... It's a fish head. Oh, that's sad. That's a little bit sad. But look, he's still he's still trying to turn his head. Oh, that, uh, let's not watch that one anymore. Let's watch the rest of them. This is so cool. This This makes it look so much more lively out here. I am so glad I did this. This I think this has to be one of my favorite creations. All right, well, I'm gonna keep those there. I'm gonna try not to press backspace while I'm doing, uh, looking at other creations, but I have another water-based one, so let's stick with this. The Speedboat by Garibald. This looks like a really, really unique speedboat concept, so I wanted to check it out. Let's see how it drives. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got the rudders in the back for turning. Oh wow, this is really fast. It just skims across the water. This is awesome, and look at the trail it leaves behind. It's like the water almost doesn't even know that it's supposed to be leaving a trail behind because it's so smooth. This thing is so easy to drive. This is probably one of my favorite boats. Just for the ease, how easy it is. Oh, can we get through this uh, school of fish without hitting any? Eh, look at that. All right, that was fun. This is fun. I like this. We got a bunch of fish at the bottom of the ocean, too. Can I actually hit one, though? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, almost. Almost. There we go. I got this one right here. I got this one right here. Oh! <laughs> Completely destroyed myself. He's a powerful fish. He's having some trouble without a tail now. All right, we got to move on, though. The fish are so fun to look at, but I have to move on to other creations. Oh, here we go. While we're in the water, I have another water-based vehicle. Kind of. Water air-based. It, it, it involves the water. The Alaska Seaplane by Scrumbo. What? Where? Where'd it go? Where did it... I... Oh, there it is. It went all the way to the bottom of the... Why did you go to the bottom of the ocean? There we go. There we go. Okay, look at this thing. Super simple controls. Space, W, and S. Really? Really? That's it? There's no... Or maybe the roll is just based on the seat. Oh, look at that with the propellers. Oh, that's awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not awesome. This turned very not awesome. Uh, come on, pitch up, pitch up. There we go. All right, yeah, I can roll. Even though there are no roll controls programmed, it must be just the seat itself. This thing does, it only has two wheels though, so I'm assuming that landing on the ground might not be the easiest. Let's see what, uh oh, oh, oh. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I can't roll to the right. No, Oh. Man, the only thing this is missing is just a stronger roll, because it's really, really hard to get out of, like, a death spiral. But uh, the design of this thing looks awesome, and taking off from the water feels amazing. Oh, it's even got some, like, upwards thrust in the front to keep it from nose diving, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try to land on the aircraft carrier. Look, the, the fish are still going. They're awesome. I'm gonna try to land on the aircraft carrier. Um, but I'm gonna need to go much, much wider. Alright, alright, come on, straighten out, straighten out, almost. We have no yaw either. Okay. Okay, here we go. Nice and gentle landing. This is working pretty good so far. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. No damage done whatsoever. That was amazing. Now, wait, wait, wait. This is a seaplane. I've never done a water landing on a plane before. Oh, this thing actually... Yeah, there we go. It can lift off from ground. Okay. Now, let's see. Can we do a successful water landing over by our uh, lively fish school over here? All right. There we go. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, Scrap Man. Careful, Scrap Man. And... No! No, no, no! Okay, not the most graceful. We almost nosedived, but we're alive. And I think that's what matters. All right, let's see what else we're going to be looking at today. Okay, this looks like it's going to be interesting. This is the Heavy Combat Walker by Ibzilla. All right, so let's check this thing out. Look at the design. The design looks amazing. Does that have a cannon on its tail? Are you serious? Look at the claws. He used the, the tooth object, the sharp teeth as claws. That's awesome. Whoa, look at these. These legs look... I love the design elements of this. All right, well, let's see how it does. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm trying... I'm going to try to turn to the right. He seems to be... Oh, yeah, he's turning to the right. This is crazy. This seems like a really complicated build. All right, because then if I... All right, if I stop going... All right, what if I... Oh, no way. He's got like a, a, a pre-walking stance. And then when you press W, he stands up and then he starts walking. That is awesome. All right, then you stop walking. And then number one is supposed to be battle stance. Number one. Oh, that is awesome. All right, and then space to... Sh Look at that. Where's Gary? Where's Gary? Oh, oh, that's right. We destroyed him with the rail gun. We need another Gary. I mean, Pierre. I keep calling him Gary because, you know, the, the only real snail that looks like this is the, is the SpongeBob snail. Pierre donated his services to the rail gun research. Now, Gary here is going to be donating his... Oh, no, I forgot about this. All right, there we go. You stay there, Gary. Whoa! Whoa, this has... You can aim any direction with this? That is... Cra okay, battle stance changes with the WASD controls. All right, well, let's exit battle stance here. What happens when I press space? Nothing happens when I press space when I'm not in the battle stance. All right, let's start walking. Gary, prepare to meet your demise. I mean, Gary, prepare to contribute to walk mech walking research. All right. Hey, I don't know if I'm aiming at Gary or not, but we'll find out. Ugh. I was aiming at Gary. Gary's contribution to the mech walking research will be remembered forever. Did you guys have a favorite creation of all these? For me personally, I think the fish was actually the most entertaining and enjoyable one for me to spawn in. Let me know which one stood out to you down in the comments below, and let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes on the channel. If you want to see more awesome stuff from the workshop just like this, then you're going to want to check out this playlist right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!